I'm sure you bought your little twinkly thingy and you want to hook it up and mess with your new cool lights and it doesn't work. Um, so I have a fair amount of knowledge when it comes to wireless networking, networking, troubleshooting in general, just due to my professional background. So this short video is going to hopefully tackle a lot of issues that you might have uh, and get you up and running in regards to using the uh, twinkly LED system. Now this is the standard 105 light set. This isn't going to go on into an expansion or anything elaborate like that. This is just going to be a straightforward video on how to get it up. Uh, no pun intended. So the first thing is when you try to connect uh, to the device, you're going to want to go to your Wi-Fi settings and you'll see something like twinkly. Now, here's the thing. The range on the actual receiver for the light set is extremely poor. Like I literally had to take my phone and sit it under the tree in order for it to detect the twinkly system. Now, once I connected to that system, I was able to do different things like uh, arrange the uh, light sets, uh, different colors, what have you. Now, here's the tricky part, and I'm almost positive this is going to be a software bug. Um, it'll give you options to connect to different wireless points in your network or that it can see. So number one, make sure that your uh, wireless access point is on a 2. Uh, gigahertz band. It will not connect to a 5 gigahertz band. Uh, you have to connect to 2 gigahertz first, update it, and then if you want to connect to a 5 gigahertz band, you can go ahead and do so but it will not connect straight off to a 5 gigahertz band. So if you have a wireless network and you have the 2 gig band off and you only have the 5 gig band on, it's not going to work. Uh, the biggest issue is when you tell it to connect to a wireless point, the application is going to prompt you and it's going to say it basically it failed. You'll close out the app. You'll try to do it again and it'll say failed. You'll try it again it'll say failed. Well, here's the thing. While it's saying that it's failing, it's actually not. Right? So after maybe the second time you do this, if you just close out the app, go back to your phone, whether it be an Android or, or iOS device, and you tell your phone to connect to your wireless point, whatever it is. In my case, it's Google Skynet. So now I'm on my main wireless point, and now I launched a Twinkly app, and now I'm able to uh, connect to the device through my wireless and arrange the lights however I see fit. So uh, I'll toss up a video. You guys will see what I'm talking about here in this uh, short demonstration. Basically, um, you know, a quick overview on the lights too. You can, you know, control them, do all sorts of things. I will tell you off the bat, when I try to use uh, the scanner to detect every single LED. I was maybe only picking up anywhere between 14 LEDs to about 28. I was not picking up all 105. Maybe it's because my tree is more narrow and it's not a, a wider tree. Uh, maybe it's just because it's, you know, wedged in a corner, low ceiling. I don't know. Um, I didn't have any success with that. But at the same time, there are just so many options for so many presets that they have. And even the presets that they do have, you can arrange with whatever colors you want. Uh, and on and on. So in my honest opinion, taking a picture and, you know, calibrating where every single LED and making your own pattern, I mean, that's kind of overkill for me. Would it be nice to, to use? Yeah, sure. But, you know, it, it's not a deal breaker for me. The light system works. There's no blown bulbs. Uh, sure, the app is buggy, but I knew that going in. And, you know, just based on my, my tech background, I kind of knew that I would eventually be able to figure it out. So, you know, I want to put this video out there, especially, you know, with Christmas around the corner, uh, New Year's, you know, people are going to be picking up these lights or whatever. Um, you know, even though there's not a whole ton of reviews, people still get stuck and sometimes you might get a generic response. Uh, I understand that every single person's, you know, network or wireless network is different. But for the most part, if you follow these steps, you're going to save yourself probably like over an hour or less. So, again... Plug it in. Make sure your phone is literally right next to the tree or wherever the light set is at. Make sure it's right next to it. Connect locally to the Twinkly device. At that point, it'll ask you to, to update. Just say yeah or whatever. Um, 
from then on, it'll say, do you want to get configured? What it's saying is, do you want us to connect to your wireless point? Go ahead and select, yeah, put in your password, your SSID, or whatever your wireless uh, name is. So do that. Again, make sure it's on a 2 gigahertz band, um, and it should work. If for some reason it doesn't or it just keeps giving back errors, just close out the app because when you're getting those errors and it's telling you it's not connected, in reality, it actually is getting connected. So unless you really got a crappy dud unit, um, nine times out of ten, you know, this is going to work. So, you know, hopefully I helped you guys out and save you guys some time and um yeah, go ahead and, you know, link down some uh, videos if you want to go ahead and share your uh, LED setups with the uh, Twinkly uh, Christmas light uh, set. And I'll check it out. Thanks, guys. Take care.